Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Monday, April the 10th. Last week I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I overlooked the fact that uh, Friday was a holiday. It's um, kind of hard to figure out holidays here in Spain. So um, anyway, it was a US holiday and I overlooked it, but no problem. We can, um, it's actually good that this kind of thing happens. So we can discuss how to deal with um, when an expiration goes by and you didn't close your position or roll it over, etc. So let's go through all of our trades here and see what we can do. You can see, first of all, there is an option buying power is negative. That means that um, an option was assigned and now I have gone over my um, credit uh, available for trades my what is called the margin requirement okay you can click here and that should show you that it's in, incidentally it's not showing it but in your regular account it should show you if you are way overdone with that okay so let's go to each trade and see which one we have uh, any stock on and adjust for that okay so let's go analyze for adobe nothing here it's a perfectly good april 21st is the expiration axp and here you have 200 shares okay so we need to get rid of this because that is going to be at 200 shares at 160 dollars each is going to be very very big okay so well, I don't need to tell you, I'm just going to show you. Calculator, uh, 200 times 160, 0.69, and so that's um, $32,138. $32,138, and that adds up, and that may be why you have this precisely that number. But there are others, otherwise we couldn't go to negative. Okay, so what do we do here? Before the, the broker, what the broker is going to do is going to take your puts and use them to sell your calls as a, as a, uh, as a cover call, cover put, cover stock position. So let's try and do that. We have June options here and we don't have any um, any immediate like 39 days so we can sell to May options but before we do that let's go and try to sell uh, some of or let's say sell our puts along with buying back or selling the, the, the stock so we need to sell the stock and sell the puts if this was the opposite meaning that the calls are assigned then what happens is that the calls would be assigned you get a negative uh, stock okay so let's do that let's close this 200 shares by selling some of our uh, puts here simultaneously how do we do that easy we have 180 calls uh, puts here and you can see that the stock I was assigned is 180. So we're gonna click here and say, analyze sell, because we're selling stock, and you say, look for cover stock, okay? Do two of them, and there you go. Uh, let's look at the analyze. Let's look at the risk graph. What happens when you do that? Well, I get, my deltas is positive right now, which is a good thing because the stock is going up. By doing the closing the position, it gets more neutralized. Okay. How about if we sell the puts that we sell are just very close to expiration. Let's say 30 days to expiration. Well, which one would be that? Well, let's see, which one is to 30? Ah, May 12th, for example, or May 5th. I'm gonna try May 12th instead of closing the long puts that we have we're gonna close the uh, we're gonna open shorts in May the 12th 
right here. Get it? And look at that. I get a credit of 180.21. Well, we already spent 180.00 to get that bot with the uh, assigned puts. So by doing this, I'm actually getting a credit of 18 cents or two point. Let's say we try this first and let it sit there until it fills. And now we're going to have 12, two May 180 puts. And as you can see, my chart changes to this more uh, familiar smiley face. Let's send that off. And we can sell calls as well, 180, but I wouldn't get too much uh, for me. So let's say if I close that, analyze closing. And if I were to buy or sell June, uh, let's say May 12 calls, I would get 61 cents. That's not too bad. Okay, and by doing that, I neutralize. I make my deltas quite negative. So I'm going to wait and see what happens once that order that I place fills. We can add just one call, short call here, or none at all. We'll see. Let's move on to BP. Uh, no, nope, BP is not the one with the issue here. Let's close this. I can see what I have. Yeah, I'm right here in the middle. May is my longs. I'm not going to do any changes. The delta is a little positive. I prefer that in case the stock rallies strongly because when it, the stock rallies strongly, if my deltas were negative, I'm going to lose money for sure because the vega will work against me too. So the delta being a little positive is good because it neutralizes the effect of vega. Vega is the volatility effect. Okay? When a stock goes up, volatility comes down, Vega is affected. Okay, let's go to CRM. Okay, CRM, we have this April expiration that's only a few days away, and there are 150. And we okay, so I'm sorry for that disruption. Uh, okay, so I can do the April is expiring. The puts are out of the money because the stock is at 131. So this is going to expire worthless. Okay, the call, yeah, we can roll, roll over the call. Analyze rolling. And if we don't get anything, we might be uh, ready to simply close uh, the position. Okay, so I'm going to go this April call 14. I'm going to go to May 14, May 12 in this case, and I get 82 cents. And by doing that, look at the delta goes from negative to positive, only a little, fine. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to get a little money, 164. I'm still playing the game and uh, I'm collecting some capital there. And the put, if I were to do exactly the same, I'm probably not going to get much because this is 150 puts are way out of the money over here. And say, you say if you say May 12, I get 23 cents. It's not even worth it. Yet, if the stock was to drop to 150, wow, then suddenly I'm doing well. So I'm going to leave it like that and wait until that gets filled. In the meantime, let's proceed to FTX. Okay, here we have 21 of April, that's next week. We can look at this again this Friday and perhaps roll it over or close the position. Let's move on to Google. Google is April 21st, again, um, is sometime in the future. So we look at this on Friday again. Len. Len, Len, Len. It's April 14th. Expiration is coming up. Okay. But look at this. We have a loser here. We don't really have any 
inclination. When when you have a loser and you only have two hundred and eighteen dollars, you may choose to close the position, or you may choose to risk it one more month. I I recommend uh, to close it unless you have a very good reason for it. Close the position and take your loss. It's not much. It could get bigger. So let's send that. Uh, just confirm that you are uh, deleting this with this closing order uh, by showing the effect of the closing. Yeah, that's exactly. Today we have 32 cents money being made because the stock is going up and it's going closer to 150. I might leave it if I believe that the stock will go up. I really don't have a certainty on that. Uh, the oscillators are pointing down. Uh, here is flow or navigating or swimming on top of the Ichimoku cloud. Uh, it might stay there, it might come down. So I'm going to take my money and run. Use my money for some other purpose. So I'm closing and that would also lower my uh, um, my margin requirement. Okay, let's move on to or RCL, today's low. Okay, here you have the current position, $19.06. Uh, we have May 5th, that's a, um, over a month from now, less than a month from now. Analyze opposite, just to see how much it's worth. Oh, that's open actually, let me go to the account statement here and say, let's go 70 days back, just to make sure that I can see all the trades I have on, on Oracle. And I have the trade history, what we mean is more important, the order history will show you also cancel orders. So let's analyze this. Okay. This is the current trade. You can hide the position and then analyze the opposite to see how much money we have in this trade. 425. I think it's doing great. Uh, May, well, that's some time from now. And the stock has been going down a little today, but otherwise it's been moving very nicely. You can see on your chart where you are, it's right here, about four points above the my strike price. Sounds good. I would leave it alone uh, and you have plenty of time to see this work. If the stock goes above, let's say to 110, possible, okay, then you start making good money. So no time to close this one because there's plenty of time to go and you have a winner. So try to live with the winners. Don't close them too soon. Okay, here you have PAN21 is the expiration. Let's make sure we hide the simulation so we can see. Yeah, 21 is our uh, expiration for our shorts. That's some time from now. If I say high position, this is the, the position, this is the trade as I enter it here. You go over here, you can see this original trade and that's a rollover so you can subtract 6.88 from your 45.68 and that's what you get here, 38.77. That's my current position and then I analyze the opposite. That gives me my closing, my closing trade. If I were to do it, how much it will bring me. Okay, so you copy this, adjust it, and then you say analyze the opposite, and there you have it. Okay, that's, you can deselect it so it doesn't show the effect on, on the chart, but you can see um, how much money it will bring you. 39.65, and then my, my uh, P&L will be 177. I'm going to leave it alone. I think it will do well going forward, this position. Let's go to STX. Okay, here we have an assignment of $500. Okay, so what do I do? Okay, 500 longs, it means we have this, this 80 puts. 
were assigned because the stock is well below 70 so I got assigned meaning I now have 500 shares you know what you can do if you see this stock going up recovering which it is uh, you can keep let's say 100 shares of um, STX and other keep the stock at a good price because you, it's you know you were assigned it when the stock was 59 versus the the price on the option which was 70 so uh, yeah that you could keep that 100 shares with a good cost basis okay you can simply close this is what I'm going to do I'm going to close this and I'm going to sell a put five puts at a um, and an expiration date that is about 32 days to expiration 30, 25 really 30 is the number I'm looking for 32 is closest so I'm gonna go over here look for that 70 okay 70 put is what I want so I'm gonna you see the extrinsic value here 168 that's a credit that's free money 1.68 so analyze sell cover stock and we're going to sell five so if you wanted to keep 100 shares just do four and then you can sell a call against it but that's not my objective in this account but I certainly would do it in my own account if I wanted to keep this stock it's a good way to do it okay so I'm selling the May and look at that 71.67 that means I'm getting $1.67 free money, a gift to me, by selling those against uh, those calls, uh, those puts against the shares that I'm selling instead of the shares that I'm selling. So I'm getting a little bit of a credit. Okay, look what happens to the, the options. The delta is 378. That's way too big for my liking. So doing that, it reduces us to two. 18. So let's do that. Confirm and send. Okay. And you can also sell calls. We have 10 calls that are 70 and the stock is trading at 66. Well, how about if we sold uh, a call or two? Okay. Go to the ad simulated trades and we're going to sell the same strike price right here bid and you hit, you get 1.99 extrinsic value that's free money okay the same expiration date and let's sell two for example or three and as we sell our delta is decreased but remember that we are decreasing our deltas with these five options five cover calls so let's analyze that simultaneously okay and so I have this in op in or as an order already. So selling call four calls. Well, I have ten here. You can sell five. Okay, and then the resulting delta will be forty-five. And I say, well, you know, I think this stock is going up. It's very strong right now. And look, it's going above the previous high here. That looks strong. Or for whatever reason you think this stock will go higher. Well do less of them. Let's do three. And then you remain with a delta of 115. As that's equivalent of 100 shares. Let's send that off. And that should actually feel f sooner, of course, because it's a simple three option sell. The other is a complicated cover call. All right, and that's about it. So let's go and confirm all this and see if we can adjust this a little bit. The AXP, I'm asking for a credit of 180.20. Well, it is the mark is 180.27, so it should be okay. It should be filling quite soon. The CRM we can adjust by lowering the credit, cancel, replace and then lower one two three let's say four five 
you see that the distance between the natural and the mid is quite large, so we're not going to get everything we want. So we are going to have to adjust it a little bit better. Okay, here is the len, it's 1882 versus 18775. That's the mark, that's the current, current price that it would be selling for in most situations. So we need to alter this a little bit. Cancel replace. Reduce the credit we're asking. And keep changing until they get filled. The len just got filled. As well as the STX. Well, that was a little earlier. SCRM. We can reduce this STX as well. Just adjust, don't be shy about it. You want these things to feel you don't have to have the best price uh, possible. It usually is what it, it says here for the, um, when, there, got filled. Okay, so you, what you want is to get filled faster. So let's try this one here. Even though we're already below the credit, we're gonna adjust it just a little bit. Look at the difference here. You don't want to go below 180, okay? If you needed to go below 180, what you would better be better off uh, simply exercising the option. Okay, let's go to 118, 14. I should feel. If it's problematic, you can always um, you can always exercise the put option. Let's say, let's say I go to an AXP. What do I mean by that? Well, you want to exercise the option here. You have two off, but that wouldn't leave you. You need to have that short there. We want to have that short there. This may short so that we get the smiley face. It's already looking like a smiley face, but you can always exercise this put here. Exercise. What does that mean? Well, it would exercise my June put. Let's analyze that trade. The exercise will give me nothing, 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 nothing. Okay? It just simply takes away the stock and takes away my two options here. Well, this option is valuable, it has several months to go, so you don't wanna do this. What do you wanna do? Well, you can possibly uh, try sell this put like this, June. So you will be losing 84 cents, so you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna exercise. The only reason we would exercise is the price is so close to 180 that you're not gonna get any money uh, additionally by doing this. Okay, that's about it for today. Uh, I will keep on trying to get this fill before the end of the day. Okay, they should get filled. That's all for today, thank you, bye-bye.